Now we can do a question that most people got wrong when they took it on an official GRE test. We're given an XY coordinate system and we're given a line K and we're given a point designated as 3 comma 4. And we're asked to compare two quantities. Quantity A is the slope of line K and quantity B is 1. We pick A if quantity A is greater, B if quantity B is greater, C if the two quantities are equal, and D if the relationship cannot be determined from the information given. The first thing we notice is that line K doesn't really touch the 3, 4 point. We can see a little space between them. And that brings us to one of the official rules on the quantitative comparison section. All geometric objects are in the order shown. But since the K line goes through the origin where X and Y cross, the K line could actually shift. It could go closer to the Y axis. And that means that a lot of people said, I don't know what the slope of the line K is because it could switch around. And they pick answer D the relationship cannot be determined from the information given. But we're not being asked to pick the slope, we're being asked to pick the relationship. Fortunately, we have a base relationship. We have our three, four dot. And we can draw a line from the origin to the three, four dot. We remember slope as rise, overrun. And we can find what the slope of that line is. The rise is how far up or down we go on the y-axis and the run is how far across we go on the x-axis. We have to be careful though because 3 is the first part of our dot but that's actually the run and 4 is actually the rise. So when we substitute those numbers into our formula, since we're going from the origin, we know that we rise 4 and we run 3, so our slope is 4 over 3. So the slope of our line connecting the 3, 4 dot is larger than 1, and that would make the answer A. Let's look at the XY coordinate system and the 3, 4 dot in the formula that we remember for the slope. The slope of a line is Y to the second minus Y to the first over X to the second minus X to the first. What if we make the origin our first point and the 3, 4 our second point. Then we have 4 minus 0 over 3 minus 0, which gives us 4 over 3, which was our slope. But that was just arbitrary. What if we make the origin our second point and the 3, 4 dot our first point? Then if we plug this into the formula, we have 0 minus 4 over 0 minus 3, which gives us minus 4 over minus 3, which gives us 4 thirds. Now let's compare it to the slope of line K. This brings us to the second direction that we can think about in this question. And it says that coordinate systems such as the XY planes and the number planes are drawn to scale. Therefore, you can read and you can estimate. You can use your eyes. Now, since we can look at the geometry figure with our eyes, and since we know the origin of the geometric figures is in the order shown, what we're really being asked to compare is all of the space to the right of the y-axis and to the left of the 3, 4 sloped line. Well, that means that at one point we could have the same height of 4 
and our run would be smaller because it would be closer to the y-axis. So we can simplify this idea and change our 3 to a 2. Then our slope formula becomes 4 over 2, and 4 over 2 is definitely larger than 1. So now that we've convinced ourselves that even though we don't know the exact slope of the line k, we know relative to 1 it is larger, and so therefore we can be sure that our right answer is A, the quantity in column A is greater. Testing for the public. Nonprofit since 1985. No one makes things easier.